Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So I thought what better way than to give you uh, my next video by using these $1,500 phones. So the Galaxy Note 20 and 20 Ultra have great cameras on the rear, I say. Uh, and they also have Pro Mode, which I think is very nice. Pro Mode is something that um, to me is kind of official in the One UI 2.5 update. Now, you can control the mic gain on these. It has an omnidirectional mic. This is really good because in the past, LG is what I leaned on for things like this. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about, and this is another discussion video, vlog slash news, whatever you wanna call it, but I just wanted to use the Galaxy Note devices to shoot this video. So this video has been recorded uh, in pro mode, as I just said, uh, and I'm using the directional mic to face me only. And I think this is important because LG, again, was the king of this, to, in my opinion. I think LG laid down the tracks, they laid down the foundation for people uh, to do pro modes on phones. I think this is important. So we buy all these devices and we are we really getting our money's worth? Well, last year, Samsung um, kind of, kind of uh, delivered the Galaxy Note 10 Plus as a creator's device. You know what? And I kind of agreed with them. You know, there were still some things that, you know, I felt like just wasn't completely a creative device. Uh, and it was probably the cameras. The cameras were lacking a little bit, uh, but they were still better than pretty much a lot of the phones on the market. So I think that you, you're going to ultimately be the judge of what you think is worth it or not. So and, and um, that's kind of where I'm leading with this. But I do want to give you a few things in the news first. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Samsung event. Uh, why not start with Samsung's own device for the video? So uh, the on September 1st, uh, and at the recording of this video, it is August 27th, uh, 2020. On September 1st, Samsung is going to launch the Galaxy Fold, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. Whew. They're going to launch that new device. And right now, we don't know the price. But one thing is for certain, I'm um, pretty much sure that this device is not going to be less than $2,000. So with that being said, you know, you determine whether you want to spend that kind of money or not. I do like the, the new Fold and I want to compare it to my Surface Duo. Even though I think the Surface Duo, I can pretty much um, guess that the hope, I'm hoping that the cameras on the Fold are better than the Duo. But that would be very, very, that would be like a landslide. It would just be a big upset if the Duo came in and had really good cameras. And I'm not saying that the Duo won't have good cameras, but I would like to compare them both. So. Um, we'll talk about the dual in just a second, but the, the, the Fold 2 uh, is going to be on carriers this time, I believe, just like the new Folds are on carriers right now. The, the Flip versions, the Z Flip, those are on carriers and, um, you know, still not a fan of financing phones. So I always try to map out a budget throughout the year for these really expensive devices. And that is how I'm able to afford paying for them cash without using my credit cards or my debit. You know, I'm saving that's it i've given you plenty of tips on how to buy an expensive device uh that's coming uh and just also plenty of tips on how just how to save money and don't just put it onto a smartphone uh but for your for a big purchase but you can always create small budgets for everything so with that being said i didn't create a budget for the z fold uh 2 because i knew it would cost two grand and and um i knew that it would have uh that hefty price tag and also knew that you know even with all my points from my credit card, all these bonuses and cash, it wouldn't equal up to $2,000 that I would be willing to give to a phone. I would rather pay my mortgage, buy a new lawnmower, uh, get a new tablet, and get another phone with $2,000. That's exactly what I could do <laughs> with $2,000. But nonetheless, if in fact I can squeeze some money from somewhere and get the full, I do get a military discount through Samsung uh, and a government discount through Samsung. So, you know, that's something and an educator's discount through Samsung. You can't use all, all three of them though. Uh, I just go with the one that's, that's the biggest. Uh, so <clears throat> I, I feel like I'm going to use that, uh, to purchase. Uh, and, and you know what I just thought about when I bought my ultra through Samsung, <sighs> I didn't use my military discount. Totally forgot about it, son, but nonetheless, no problem. Uh, if I can get a good enough deal through Samsung, with the uh to purchase the fold and get um use any kind of points i have something you know what i'm saying 
uh, I'll get the fold. I need it to be around a thousand out of my pocket. Like I need to, I don't want to come out of more than, more than like a thousand or 12 out of my pocket. I need the rest to all be credits. And that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. So this is going to be interesting. So, um, September 1st, the fold is coming. Now the duel. Uh, I've, I've made two videos on the duo already, and let's just throw it out there. We all know that the media got the duos, and they did their unboxings and all these things, and they, they couldn't power it on. Let's just go ahead and address that, because I know you guys are going to probably say it in the comments if I talk about the duo. Um, there's embargoes out there, and I think a lot of those people who got the got the phone and just gave you a, a demonstration of the hardware, you know, they want to show you what the hardware's like and want to give their opinion on it, and that's fine. Um, personally, though, when, when a duo comes here, I'm cracking that seal open. I'm showing it all to you. Uh, and that's just what it is. And I know they wanted to do that too. I only watched, uh, I think one video and I think we all watched his video and, you know, I was kind of feeling some type of way when he started talking about, um, how it's bad because of the specs. I'm like, yeah, the Snapdragon 855 is not a bad processor. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll move away from that. But nonetheless, the duo is coming. Uh, it is coming on, um, September 9th or 10th. Some of your delivery dates say the 9th. Some of your delivery dates say the 10th. I believe if you log in, when I logged in a long time ago, it said the 9th when I put in the 256 gig version. Uh, but now when you log in, it says the 10th. But the official release date, I believe, is the 10th. Like you can actually go into a store and buy it or, you know, it'll be you'll get to you by the 10th. So keep that in mind when you're deciding to purchase your, uh, your device. So um, what else is in the Apple? Uh, the new iPhones are, and this is weird, this year, there's so much hype around other devices. The Apple devices aren't really, people aren't really talking about it that much, at least not in my camp. You know, I don't think a lot of people are even interested in the, the Apple devices, really. If they are, I, I haven't heard too many people talking about them because honestly, iPhones, you know, you can, you can keep it for such a long time and still get um, help from Apple and, you know, their, their warranties is pretty good. And, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just a different experience with Apple. And, you know, that's not a bad or a good thing. It's just a matter of Apple people. I think Apple people are now settling in and they're probably not as hyped for these so-called new iPhones because they're, maybe they're starting to realize this is the same phone with a different body. And the software is the same. You know, I'm getting the same experience. I'm getting the support. You know what I'm saying? But for me, when, it, when you talk about Apple, I'm excited about the new laptops. I'm going to get the new MacBook or whatever with the silicon chip. I'm so excited about that. Now, update. A lot of you guys said, Jay, don't sell your Mac Mini. Well, I actually sold my Mac Mini. Took your, I, I took all the feedback that I got from you guys. And remember, I didn't want to trade it to Apple. They weren't going to give it enough. Well, I was actually able to sell it on Craigslist for a whole lot more. So I pretty much got a big chunk of my money back. And so that is when I uh, went out and bought um, another 2020. Um, oh, I bought the first, I bought me a, a new 2020 um, iPad Pro. And that is what I've actually been editing all my videos on if I edit them on anything. So, but I'm excited about Apple's laptops and their new Mac mini with their chip in it. And I will be transitioning back to another Mac mini because I have a lot of accessories for it. And so I'm just waiting on the Apple version processor that makes sense for that chip. So um, Samsung phones, a lot of you guys have been talking about the Samsung devices on how your, your Ultra has bad battery. I've been getting feedback from different people and a lot of people are saying the feedback is, you know, the battery's uh, not too good uh, on your uh, Ultra. And my, my, again, battery life definitely, I often wonder what, what some people are doing on their devices to get three hours of screen on time. That's incredible to me. Um, I'm clearly getting more than three hours of screen on time, maybe between five and seven. Uh, and I like to run my device at quad HD. Uh, so, because if, I think if you're running it at 120 Hertz with 1080p, I think it's pulling more battery for sure. Uh, but running it at quad HD, you know, it's fine for me. And um, while a lot of people are saying, oh gosh, you know, the, the smaller note is trash, it's plastic, it's got a 1080p with 60 Hertz. Think about what you're saying when you're describing the Ultra. The Ultra is, if you, can, you can only run these things at 1080p and you're probably go not gonna get the best battery, I'm sure. I've ran it at both, uh, but I still prefer just 4K because I wanna watch in 1440p, I just like how it looks. So 
which is why I was considering just staying with the smaller note and then selling off the or returning. I hate doing returns. Probably I don't think I'll do that. I probably might just sell it. I'm I'm on the fence about selling and returning. If I even get rid of it, but team white, you're in the house, you already know. The white is like the color. The white is the color. The white and the green, those are the colors. So um I think when it comes to the Ultra, you know, th this this phone is a really solid phone. Uh, and, you know, depending on how much you pay for it, that might determine how much you like it or keep it. And unfortunately, that's just how it is. We, In today's society, we weigh out things by what they cost first and whether it's worth it or not. That's what people do. And I don't think that it can always be that way. You can't always say something is worth it or not just because it costs a certain price. Because every time a phone drops and people think it's too high, when it drops, it then turns into the best phone in the world. That doesn't make any sense. Either something is good or it's not. That you can't switch because of the price. It, if, if it's a good product and then and something about the phone, which is the price that you disagree with, well, that doesn't mean it's a bad product. It's just you just don't like the price. I, I think I've said that over the years a thousand times. So I say to you that the Galaxy Note, uh, which is recording with this video, I think is absolutely great cameras on this thing. A lot of people get into detail about, oh, Samsung can't get depth of field right. They can't get the dynamic range right. I don't care about that. I just want to, whatever I think is a good photo, I post up a good photo. And that's just how it works. All right? So it's your man, Jay. I want to do a quick video in pro mode on the Galaxy Note 20. I think this these cameras are great. I know the microphone, the audio is good. I've done several tests with this. And I think um, these cameras are there a go. This is your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoy. Take care.